This is the campsite at the trade fair at Friedrichhafen. The trade fair buildings are on my right and they have a very distinctive hangar-like appearance, uh, which is not surprising really because the airport is right next to it. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic here, but we do hear a few planes coming and going. Friedrichshafen isn't a particularly large place. It's on Lake Constance. It's only a couple of hundred years old. It was found at the beginning of the 19th century. Uh, it was on the basis of a couple of existing villages, but it was designed as a port on the lake. But what we have here at the airport, something quite famous, there we have a Zeppelin building. The first Zeppelins were actually uh, done here. I suspect they were done on the uh, where the, these hangars today make up the, the trade fair uh, buildings. And uh, that started in 1900. Uh, in 1937, there was the uh, big fire of the Hindenburg in the United States after it actually crossed the Atlantic. And uh, after that, uh, production stopped. Now, it's uh, thought, it's often the idea is that it, the production stopped because the, uh, of safety concerns. Uh, I suspect that the real reason actually may have been due to a, uh, the inability or unavailability of helium uh, due to sanctions against Nazi Germany. I may be wrong on that one, but that is what I actually suspect is the real reason why it stopped. Anyway, production has uh, restarted. It's restarted in uh, Berlin, no, not so often Berlin, um, of uh, this type of uh, uh, airship. Uh, we do see occasionally airships flying above uh, London, above all, and other places. Uh, but uh, it's, as we see, there's no airship production here any longer. This is December. Trade fair ended yesterday. Most people uh, have already gone. As you can see, there's only four of us left. But the, uh, this was quite full here. And uh, there are facilities. Uh, these red things are, there's electricity. And we've got some showers as well and toilets for those who don't have them in their own vehicles. And there you see, there's a view of the hookup, which I've got leading to my machine. And uh, in this weather, a hookup's always a good thing to have, but uh, when, when it's cold as it is now, you really need hookup, keeping your batteries topped up in the cold, because when they lose a lot more power when it's colder than they do normally. So there's something you absolutely need to consider. I'm a bit worried because one of my batteries is actually now getting quite low. It's the, it's the starter battery. I had it measured yesterday by Exide and they were very kindly offered to do it for me. And it's really a third of capacity, even though it was registering over 13 volts. So um, that means I'm gonna have to replace it before long. And certainly the very cold weather has not helped. Anyway, fortunately, thanks to uh, Friedrich Half and Messer, I have been able to charge it up over the past three days.